Okay, so I've been doing a lot of Asian cooking recently, but I'm a chemist, so I like to do some chemistry with my food sometimes. So I'm going to show you a recipe for an emulsified macaroni and cheese. Now, normally when you make macaroni and cheese, the cheese sauce is melted cheese mixed with a flour roux or cornstarch to kind of thicken it out, keep the oil from separating. But this dilutes the flavor. So what we're going to do instead is emulsify the cheese itself. And this is done by adding a sodium salt, usually citric acid, or a sodium citrate or sodium phosphate. And this will take a protein inside the cheese called casein, and the sodium will replace the calcium that holds it together, so it will stretch out and act as an emulsifier, which will keep the oil from separating out. So the pasta to use, as the name implies, is usually macaroni, but basically anything that's kind of hollow that will trap the sauce will do fine. We'll put 245 grams. Put that in a small saucepan, just cover it with water. And we'll just add a bit of salt to flavor it a bit. And we'll just set that aside in the stove for now. Second saucepan we're going to use to make the sauce. So we want about 265 grams of water. 265 milliliters if you prefer to measure volumetrically. And then we're going to add our special ingredient, which is our emulsifying salt. I use sodium citrate. So make sure you don't use citric acid. Uh, the sodium is actually the important part, so it has to be the sodium salt. So we'll take 11 grams of sodium citrate and then add that to our saucepan as well. And we can put put that into our saucepan and put them both on the stove. Now we're going to take some cheese. I've just got a cheap cheddar cheese here. Uh, we want about 250 grams of it. it just be loosely grated. Now take a second cheese that's a little bit more flavorful. I like to use something like Emmental, or here I'm using an English Cheshire cheese just because I've never tried it before. So it's actually pretty flexible with cheeses. I'm going to grate that as well, about 150 grams of the second cheese. So you can see both saucepans on the stove. We're going to melt the citric acid, or sorry, the sodium citrate. And then, if you have a whisk, you can just slowly add the cheese and then whisk it until it melts. And add more cheese and then whisk. Uh, it's kind of tedious this way. So you'll see that it works a lot better with an, emuls an immersion blender, which is why I switched in the middle of the video. So you'll see in a moment. Now, I like to add a little bit of something extra. Uh, I just chopped up a little bit of pork belly here. And if you watched my last video, I'm mixing it in with some caramel here. I'm just going to fry that up to top it. And there's an the immersion blender. It lets you be a little less less fine with the, the grating of the cheese. There's pork belly again. And this is the last of the cheese here. You can see the sauce has actually become quite thick on its own. No cornstarch or flour needed. And we'll just pour that right over the cooked macaroni. And that's about it. It's a very simple recipe. And we're not getting any dilution of the cheese flavor because it's just cheese. And the emulsification comes from the cheese itself. So just stir that up, mix it well, and it works with a number of other toppings. You use the pork belly, of course, um, things like cashews, other nuts work well. You can play with different cheeses, so it's very versatile. And it stays smooth even when you reheat it the next day for lunch. There you are. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy.